Hi guys, welcome to part 2 of my tattoo process for Packard Bell PCs. So what I'll be doing in this video is I will actually be showing you the process of doing the tattoo. So there's one thing I just want to get into before we do this. Um, right, when I first did this I was using the information off the, oh, off the Passion PB website. Now what you're going to need to do is at the top here is a menu for master CDs. You go in there, there's a hidden sector database. Now in here, it's got to be a database full of all the, well not all the Packard, focus, there we go. All the Packard Bell computers from this area, etc, etc. Now, a lot of these, because the models would have been called different in France, or may have been called different in France, than other countries. Mine is a Club 30, that's what it was sold as here in the UK and maybe other countries. Over there, well it was also called the Multimedia and also the Club 300X. So I had to do a bit of digging and a bit of research online. Now on here is all the information you're going to need for the tattoo process including what original hardware etc etc etc. Now one important thing, see if I can get a bit closer on here, you see there you've got mod format part number uh, now the 55 on the start that that's always preset so you're going to want to enter the 24 then the is it five zeros o2 now that's quite important and that the o2 is relevant to um, the French master CD so what that's telling it is what file to find um, Oh, I need to go forwards. On the CD. Now on the CD, in the root directory of the CD, then in focus on the LST folder, there'll be a file. Now this is a list file. That's better. Now this list file is going to contain all the information of all the packages and drivers, etc, etc, that it needs to install for the PC. Now... When I installed, uh, when I did the tattoo process, I used the numbers off that French website. And obviously it was asking for a different one. It was asking for 24x402. Now obviously the 2 is going to be the region code for the French CDs or foreign CDs or whatever it was. Mine is a 01. Now if we go back to, where were we? Uh, rotate the screen please. Um... Yeah, so that number almost it was basic. Oh Jesus! Sorry, this isn't <laughs> the most ideal thing ever. So it, all I had to do was change the one on the end. Of, sorry, the format number, the format part number. Now that then tells the hidden sector to look for um, this list file, which is a zero one. If I was a zero two. Uh, that would be the French one which would marry up with the code. So whatever your country region is, you might have to keep trying that. Um, if you go on your CD, whatever the number is on the end is what you need to change to on the end of the the format part number. So when we enter that, that's going to be a 1. Right. Now that's out of the way, let's get going. So I'm just going to put the camera in here. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. So, I've got my Master CD number one in the drive. Actually, no, I haven't. I need to do that now. So, I'm just going to quickly boot up, change CDs. I'll sort the focus out in a minute, actually. There we go. So, but this is a new hard drive. So, what's going to happen in a minute? Uh, it'll either say something about no information or um, that it won't be able to boot or something. Now, the other issue is, of course, uh, what you need to do is go on the passion-pb.fr website and on there is a... Uh, yeah, don't work. Right, I'll sort that out. It's a tool for creating a 
tattoo floppy. So you'll need a computer with a floppy drive or external floppy drive. Yeah, disk boot failure. Um, uh, how can I aim this up slightly? Hang on. Try and get this so you can see everything. Am I? Hang on. I'm just gonna pause this video. Right, guys. There we go. Right. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put my tattoo boot floppy in and restart. Uh, like I was saying, because the it was all it's a French uh, version of this of, of this tattoo tool, the keyboard doesn't. Mo most of the keys are fine; they work. But if you've got an English keyboard, some of them, like A and M, and some of the symbols, they don't <laughs> match up. So you just have to bear with it and try and find the right keys to press for the letters and numbers you need. It's not ideal, but it's all we've got unfortunately. Okay, that's interesting. Why is it not finding the CD drive? That could be problematic. Uh. Okay. For some reason, we are not detecting the CD-ROM drive all of a sudden. Fantastic. Right, I took out to pause the video again. Right, <laughs> I think I'm away. Um, still not fine. Right, we're just going to go for it. Still not finding a CD-ROM drive. It might just be. Uh, because I haven't done the tattoo process yet. I'm not sure. I mean, it was working before. It was fine it before when I did it originally, but we're just going to roll with it. So. Yeah, I've got the floppy drive in, CD-ROM 1 drive, uh, master CD 1, there we go, it's working now. <laughs> oh, you got to love old technology. Right, so, it's recognising that there's a hard drive and a CD-ROM drive, which, that's off to a good start. <laughs> so yeah, it's got to come up French for a little while. Just gonna do some bits and bobs, that's fine. Okay, that's good. It didn't do that last time. So it's detecting the CD ROM drive. So eventually it should land us on a screen. Where we can start typing some commands. I think it's after this one. If I'm not mistaken. So we're going to have the fun of trying to figure out what keys do what letters again? I mean, once you get past the process and then you're installing the operating system, it's fine. Uh, the keyboard starts working properly, but I think this tattoo process, it's either set up for a different keyboard layout, like 101 key or something. I'm running 105 key on a PS2 connector, but Maybe it's set up for like a 101 key keyboard and it's slightly different, I don't know. Or maybe it's set up for a different language. Again, I don't know. But I say it's it's what we've got and we've just got to do the best we can. So, any second now. There we go. Right. So, 
We're landing on C. I mean, if you've got more than one hard drive, you might land on D or whatever. But what we need to do is we need to set it to Q. So Q, okay, that's coming up A. <laughs> All right, A is Q. And then have you got a semicolon anywhere? <laughs> there we go, Q. There we go. So now what we're going to want to enter is CD drivers. Okay, that works. Repertoire non valide. Uh, I seem to remember, actually, what's the word drivers in French? English. To French, English. To French. I will find out in a moment. I'm just trying to connect to my house Wi-Fi. There we go. So drivers. in French is oh uh, uh, da, 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 da. I can't remember doing this last time repertoire non valid um non-valid. What is going on? Um, let me just pause this video and I'll be back. Okay, this isn't working, so let's just do... Right. Uh, C D drivers. don't have a driver's folder. Uh... Semicolons disappeared. Why you do this? I can't seem. Oh, hang on, it's working now. Okay, uh, can't seem to get that working. Let's just try skipping that and see what happens if we go straight to trying the tattoo process. So tattoo, forward slash, somewhere. Put 
please. There we go. Tattoo forward slash in it H S pre test. Okay, so that works. So you don't have to do the CD drivers command. You just put in Q semicolon, then you do tattoo forward slash init hs pretest. The next command is tattoo space forward slash mask. Oh. Where's the M? Okay, so the semicolon key is M. Q is A, master, CD, enter. Oh great, okay. So you don't actually need to enter CD drivers, cool. So, this is the tattoo process. So obviously, we're gonna start entering all our information here. Um, let me just do something, okay. So obviously, we're looking at Packard Bell. Uh, following information, part number. Um, I'm just gonna use the one that's on here. Two, four, seven, one, zero, zero, zero. Now it says two, but I'm gonna enter one because that's my region country code. Model name should be Hercules for this, and I believe that was the name they used for so many other things. So Her Q Hercules. Now format part number. So this is what I was saying about earlier. Now the hidden sector database is saying five five, which was already entered two four zero. Zero zero zero. Uh, what have we got there? Well, four zeros. It's one, two, three, four, five zeros. Now it's saying two on the site, but I'm going to enter one. Serial number uh, uh, should be on the back of the PC. Um, now I've got it in a picture on my phone, which I'm recording on. So ah. Uh, I'm just going to have to move my PC around slightly to see if I can see it. Hopefully my cables come out the back. So my serial number is F, if that was an F, 00 4 100, 155. Now format switch. Let's move my computer back a bit. Uh, format switch is one zero. Special config, that would be nope for me anyway. Motherboard, now my motherboard is an FR500. So I select that. CPU type is a Cyrix M2. It's a 300 megahertz for me. Now all this information you should be able to find about your computer on the hidden sector database. Uh, video chips, I believe it's a uh, sys. Uh, oh, can't actually remember. Um, five five nine seven five five nine eight, which is down at the bottom is integrated. Sound card, uh, I have on board on here. So the chipset is ESS eighteen sixty nine. Modem card, none. TV card, none. Radio card, none. MPEG card, none. Network card, none. Zip drive, none. CD-ROM. Now, you're just going to have to select the one that has the closest speed. I'm going to go Gold Star 8X. Base, so this is your chassis. I don't actually know what mine is. So I'm going to go Base 4x4 Facelift. Keyboard, now I'm going to select 105 keys, Win 95. Remote, no. Mouse, just standard. 
doesn't matter once you're at the OS setup you can set up to whatever you want now looking back on the hidden sector database video RAM for mine is 4096 cache memory I believe is 512 yes and RAM is 32 3D accelerator card not yet so, what that's done is entered all your, your information. Now, there is still a couple of bits you need to do. Once you've entered all that, you then need to write all that information to your hidden sector. So, what you need to do is tattoo. Forward slash. Create. Oh. DMI uh, from HS create the from HS now there we go it's tattooing the system now Tattoo complete. So, hopefully, right, we can come out of that now. Now, if you ever need to modify your tattoo or do anything else, you can do that with your floppy disk. I've got my floppy disk here, I'm going to keep it in a safe place. Now, uh, I'm going to put my restore floppy disk back in and just to see if this works. Um, I'm going to control alt delete and fingers crossed it will start installing from the master CD now I'm just going to leave the camera going just for a second just to see if this does actually work of course the first time I tried this it didn't work and I don't want to put a video up and uh, yeah find out <laughs> that it doesn't actually work so as soon as I see the pixelated Packard Bell install screen come up then uh, I'll stop this video but if anyone needs any help like I said in the last video there's some great Facebook groups out there there's a retro planet Packard Bell Facebook group those guys are absolutely brilliant they've got an FTP server with all sorts of old Packard Bell operating systems floppy disks, restore disks, everything like that and the guys on there are just awesome anyway and there's a website forum called Vogons they are, without one of the guys help oh, that, that was on there, um, he helped me a lot and uh, yeah without his help I, I probably wouldn't have figured out several things but um, as uh, problem is a lot of this hardware and their compu these computers are so old now it's it's a trouble finding the tools to be able to do stuff like this, put the original software on, especially in cases like this. So fingers crossed at some point. Oh hey. So now if I'd have tried to do this without uh, tattooing all I would have got is an error long before now that there's no valid information on the computer so when you put your restore floppy in and your restore disks in what that does is it like I say it validates that it should be being installed in the first place there we go and uh, yeah w without that hidden sector on the hard drive there that wouldn't work so oh, I'm going to go ahead and install this software on this hard drive just as a backup. I've already got one hard drive there all installed. So um, yeah, I'm just doing another one just to just so I can screw about and test stuff. And the other one I'll just put my games on and I can just swap them out as I need to and um, or set it up on a dual boot or something. I don't know what you can sort of do on these old operating systems, but that's that's why I'm doing it. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get this going. Oh, so I'm just, I might do advanced feature just for the fun of it. So I'm going to press number two. So, right guys, I'm going to leave the video there. If you need any help, put a comment down in the uh, section. Like I said, the website, I'll show you again in case you need it. I don't know how long this website's going to be up. Hopefully it'll be up for a lot of years to come because there is a lot of good stuff on here. So it's passion hyphen focus p p p b dot f r. Now what you do, you go on. There's a translation thing at the top. Most of the stuff you're going to need is going to be under master CDs. So you press that. Now you've got the hidden. Why? So you've got the hidden. For God's sake! Stop it! Why is it doing that? So you've got the hidden sector database down there. That's where you're going to find all your information about your specific computers. You've got tattoo explanation. So if we click that, down the bottom, it'll tell you a bit about master CDs and stuff. Somewhere on here is a link to the tattoo floppy disk create tool thingy. I've put the link for that in the other video and I'll put it down in the comment for this one. I don't know where it is now. Uh... So you got a flow chart, but it's all in French. Um, ah, so yeah, to download. Uh, yeah, there it is. And if you go down the bottom, you're gonna have all the links to the guides for yours. So mine is uh, first computers and laptops, Windows 98 first edition Hercules. So then you click that, and there will be a guide with everything you need to do. Um, yeah, it's all gonna be in there. So, good stuff. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. This video is already 20 minutes. So, well, this one is. I've still got to tack the other bit on yet. <laughs> so, I hope I helped someone. Again, if you need any help, comment, and I'll see what I can do for you. But, hope that helps someone. Thanks, guys, and see you next time.